it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here again with another video and uh, we're back on Dad's farm. Like I said in the last episode, I would um, start recording again after I filled the uh, cedar rack up and we were getting near the end. Well, we have one more pass left after this one and then we will be done. Uh, our land roller is also done and it is now sitting in the yard right by the pressure washer by the other dirty equipment uh, waiting for planting season to end when everything will get washed before we start harvesting uh, the GMC truck is still sitting up there we'll return that after we finish up this next pass uh, once we hit the end of the field here and turn around and have started coming back I will get the uh, fertilizer spreader going again and then once we are done returning the GMC truck and have taken this planter to the yard then we'll get the sprayer going so we'll have all kinds of equipment going again uh, we will also need to delete field one and two sprayer because I want to uh oh Oh, man. I knew that was going to happen. Happened last time. All right. All right. Got it fixed. <laughs> I was able to delete the course, but it took me restarting the game twice because it did it again when I deleted the other course for whatever reason. But we got them deleted, and we're planting again. So that is all good. And we have the hiccups. Look. So yeah, it took um, just about four hours to plant each of these fields. Uh, it takes about an hour to plant each one. So, not bad if you think about it, really. Uh, the beans and corn should take a lot less time. Uh, even though there is more ground you know well they're not going to take less than four hours to plant but they should go by a lot faster because a the cedar well i guess there is only one reason the cedar is a whole the corn planter is a whole lot bigger than this so that's going to cut down a lot on the time that is spent uh planting so that'll be a huge help Go like that, go like that, that, that. Snap a screenshot here. So you guys will be seeing the videos before you see the screenshots, unfortunately. Um, I won't be editing the screenshots until after I get home again. So... I have a lot of pictures to edit. There's about... 40 almost or something like that. There's a lot of them. Um, so yeah. This video might be a little shorter. We'll see. I am going to have to pause here in just a moment. Um, so that way I can go switch my laundry. We'll get this guy going again. There we go. Get him going. Up back into our cedar. Finish off this field. It'd be really cool if this thing had dynamic hoses. Uh, that would be really, really nice. 
make that a whole lot more realistic. take our fuel trailer back to the farm as well uh, we'll just leave it hooked to the pickup but we'll just pull it into the yard because we don't really need it right now uh, we will need it eventually of course but just not yet there we go planting is done let's haul this big monster home wheels are going to sit if I do it that way. Got to be stopped when you unfold it, otherwise, or when you fold it, otherwise your wheels sit and spin like wild things uh, the entire time. So I'm turn the game volume back up to 20. This is where it usually is. Yeah, we'll get, uh, we'll get the tractor and truck back to the farm, and then return the, uh, DMC truck, and then I'll, uh, pause the recording again, and, or, you know, cut the video, whatever you want to call it, and then, um, then I can go switch my laundry quick, and then also it'll help uh, so that the spreader and sprayer get a little more done. So we we'll just have our hazards and beacons on while we are traveling on down the road. We do still have a lot of seed left, but unfortunately, unlike real life, you cannot uh, empty all this seed out. At least on this planter, I suppose, and there, there may possibly be somebody that scripted their planter <coughs> excuse me uh, maybe scripted their planter to you know, even unload into a sea tender or something uh, that'd be actually really cool yeah, we'll pull on into the farm here All that good stuff off since we are in our own driveway now. So, like I said um, in the last video, we're going to be getting into beef, um, but that won't happen until after harvest because um, we do not have the money for it. We are now 68,000 in debt, and we'll also go even farther in debt as we progress time. So by the time harvest rolls around, we'll be uh, pretty in debt. So let's get our truck here and pull this uh, trailer of fuel back to the farm. Let's not hit that post. We'll head over to the farm. And then once we uh, finish returning the GMC, then we can get the sprayer going. Well, actually we, actually, we better wait until we are done with that field with the spreader. Uh, because the, wing, the wings on the sprayer have clip on them. Uh, or rigid body you know, collision, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so that would uh, cause, if it got too close to the spreader, it would cause it to hit the spreader and both would be stuck and get off their paths, which would not be fun. Alright, let's get this truck. Uh, uh, we're going to give them the seed, I guess, because we are unable to sell it back or anything like that. And we don't have a seed storage, so... Uh, and I can't keep the truck anymore uh, because I keep getting charged for it. So if, when we fast forward time, we will get charged a whole lot for it. So 
that would uh, not be fun. We would be even more in debt. Uh, this truck is one thing that keeps putting us further and further in debt. I believe that this is the only... Yeah, this is the only rented truck. Also, uh, I'm pressing R right now. If you guys remember the notes mod, um, I now, I set it up for, uh, to be turned on with the Y key, uh, which was really easy. Just put the notes mod zip folder on my desktop, uh, extracted it, deleted the zip file, went into the folder, uh, went to the mod desk, scrolled all the way down, changed the R to Y for the input binding, and then saved notepad++. Um, saved that, got it all uh, zipped back up, renamed it uh, from mod desk to be renamed uh, whatever the original zip folder was, and, um, and evidently we got $8 from that. Alright, so we're going to get this truck to the farm, that's how we'll get back. Yeah, it's a very nice truck, as you can see, the dash works right there. Um, I don't know if anything lights up when we turn on lights. No. Uh, it does have working mirrors. Well, it does look kind of goofy because it's showing the exact same thing that we're driving through, so... Almost looks like the mirrors don't actually work in a way. But they do. Oh, I just missed our turn. Because as you can see, you can see the uh, co-op back there. Yeah, it's a very, very nice truck. Uh, Tex has done a great job on it so far. and He's still got a long ways to go, I know. Uh, I know he's got a lot of stuff that he plans to add. and That kind of thing, so... That is very cool. So we'll go get this guy hooked up to... the trailer and then uh, we'll sit and ride along with the spreader I think or we could spray actually but it'll be easier just to put it on course play because uh, I do have to refill our tender trailer as well and we'll do that next uh, yeah that's what we'll do next I can tell he also followed uh, Serious Mods' Chrome tutorial as well as I did uh, on the truck that I'm working on. Uh, I can tell he's got a different cube map for his rear tires though. That or it's just the way that it looks. That could be the case as well. Alright, so let's start backing up. I gotta get out and open up the door. Oh, actually no I don't. Okay. Didn't think that I'd get be able to get close enough with the truck to uh open that, but I did. So his collision is set up a little goofy though on uh the rear end because it's you know, pops the trailers up. But great truck otherwise. Yeah, this trailer is empty, so we will go refill it so that way we can fill our spreader and sprayer back up when they need it. So yeah, um, once this episode's over, uh, I'll finish whatever spreading and spraying we have left, and then I'll fast forward time uh, so that way we can start on planting some corn. Uh, in the next episode. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this guy up to the, uh, uh, to the trigger and get it filling and then I'll pause the recording so that way I can go switch my laundry, uh, throw some more stuff in the washer and throw the stuff in the washer into the dryer and then, uh, I will come back and continue on Wait, 
really lagging in the yard again. It also doesn't help that it's night. Night also uh, does things to your frame rate. So, okay, I'm gonna pause the recording here and uh, be back in just. All right, and we are back. <clears throat> Oops, wrong button. Okay, so uh, the spreader finished his other field, so I got him going on. Uh, he finished field four. Now we got him going on field three. Uh, we got the sprayer going down here on field four. Uh, I made new courses for fields one and two uh, since I had to delete those ones because I didn't do enough headlands with this uh, sprayer. We got two headlands running now, so we should be plenty good. Uh, we got the truck filled up. Uh, well, it's somewhat empty now. You know, it's not full full, but it's not empty uh, because we had to fill the spur er, spreader. Yeah, spreader. Spreader. Uh, and then we got the truck sitting here and then the air seeder sitting there. So let's kind of ride along with uh, the spreader and sprayer for a little bit. Uh, and like I said, the next episode we will get started on corn. <clears throat> um planting and, and stuff like that. And then I can uh, record the episode of corn and then, or the, you know, the third episode of, for the week and then I can get uh, started on some other stuff. Um, gotta get these videos edited and uploaded and then got to start making a list of stuff I need to pack um, and slowly pack some of it tonight uh, there's a lot of stuff I can pack tonight but some of it I gotta wait until like tomorrow you know like my phone charger and headphones and deodorant and that kind of stuff but uh, yeah and then also this evening I'm gonna have to try and mow before I leave uh, because grass is starting to get pretty long and um, yeah so, yeah, we'll just ride along with this guy for a little bit, and then we'll hop over to the spray and ride with him for a little bit. Uh, and then we'll let them finish. And then get started on some corn. Uh, we have about five hours, well, we'll say like four and a half hours to get the spreading and spraying finish so we got more than enough time to get it all finished uh, and the reason I say about four and a half hours is because at uh, 2400 or midnight uh, soil mod will kick in and then uh, our wheat will hit its first stage I'll put that on slow so that way it uh, grows some So yeah, hopefully by the time that we get done uh, planting corn, it should be just about time to harvest our wheat. Uh, my hope is that we have one more thing to do, uh, growth stage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over here and we'll bring up note mod. We'll add some notes. Um, we'll just put this as growing okay well my video just cut somewhere I'm not sure where so hmm I hate when that happens so we added I don't know where it ended so we added the growing stages to do the list wheat let it grow beans one plant Two, spread PK. Three, spray herbicide BB. Corn, one, plant. Two, spread PK. Three, spray, spray herbicide CC. So I'm not exactly sure, like I said, where this cut off. And, um, but yeah. It's really annoying that it did that again. That's the one thing I hate about OBS is it always 
gets it in his head to quit recording at the worst possible times. And I don't know when it quits either, because I'm not on my desktop watching it. So it's really annoying. But uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is make this video a little bit shorter and uh, just end it here. Uh, and then let these things do their thing and then I'm going to start making my packing list. And then um, once they're done, we'll start doing some other stuff. Uh, we will be planting corn. So guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. And whether you are already subscribed or are a new subscriber, make sure you turn on the post notifications to be notified whenever I upload a video. My video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Time and Saturdays at noon Central. Um, make sure you check out down below in the description for my PC specs, links to all my social medias, as well as other YouTube channels that are worth taking a good look at. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.